Hey there everybody and welcome to Real Yoga. My name is Hannah. Today I've got Baloo with me and I've actually got Felix in the room too, but he's off camera. So I'm filling up my yoga space with some epic doggy vibes, which makes me very happy, of course. Uh, today's practice is kind of all the things. We're doing a little bit of everything and it's a great kind of class for you to hit all the kind of spinal movements, a little bit of strength, a bit of balance, a bit of stretch, a little bit of everything without committing to such a long practice. So we're not going to be here for an hour or 90 minutes. I'm going to try and make this one long enough that you feel like you've done something but short enough that you can fit it into your very busy day. So I encourage you to grab a prop for this practice. If you have a yoga block, obviously ideal. If you don't have a yoga block, that's not a problem at all. You can either sit up on a comfortable cushion. Uh, a book is a really great option. If you're sitting on your book, you might want to put a blanket or something over the top. And we're also going to use that prop to help the floor come up to meet us. So have a little search around your home for something that you can use. And if you have nothing available to you, that's also no problem. You can do this whole practice prop free. Okay, everyone, when you're ready, grab your stretchy pants and I'll meet you on the mat. All right, party people. Hopefully you've grabbed your props or whatever you need and I'll meet you in a comfortable seat of your choice. The reason that it's nice to find something to sit up on when you're just in Sukhasana or this seated pose is that it's nice for our hips to be above our knee joints. So even if you don't have a yoga block, a cushion or a rolled up blanket can work really well as something to just elevate your seat a little bit so that you feel comfortable sitting down for an extended period of time. And that's what we'll do here just to come into our space, into our practice, and meet our body where it's at today. So when you're settled, close down your eyes, relax your shoulders. You can choose to have your palms facing down or up. That's totally your choice. And start to notice your breath. Don't feel the need to change it in any way. But I love to start practices with breath awareness because it's almost an immediate way to come straight into your body. Something to notice that brings you into yourself. If there are sounds around you or distractions or there are other people in your space, just allow that to be what it is. The world is not going to stop for you, but you can find peace even among what we might call chaos in our lives. So maybe you start to deepen your breath now, lengthening the inhale, really taking in as much air as you can. Hold that breath for just a beat and then exhale maybe the first few out your mouth. Again, inhale deeply. And exhale, let it go. And now if it's available to you and you don't have a blocked up nose, Start to breathe in and out through your nostrils. Try not to let your shoulders crumple up to your ears while you inhale. There's no need for our shoulders to get involved. Instead, can you think about filling up the barrel of your chest? So really sending the breath into the front, the back and the sides of your lungs, expanding your rib cage. And as you exhale, we're just softening. Just finding a few moments to be in your body. And while you're here, maybe it's a nice idea to check in with how you're feeling emotionally today. And then how you're feeling physically. And knowing that a yoga practice is not a time for you to push yourself and move in a way that doesn't feel good for your body. Not at all. Our yoga practice is a time to check our ego at the door and just find this great sense of freedom in the body, freedom in the mind to just be exactly as you are today. Take another full breath in through your nose. Hold it and let it out through your nostrils. 
Slowly flutter your eyes open. Come off of your seat and we'll meet together in Tadasana at the top of our mat. But take your block or whatever you're using towards the top of your mat because we might use that a bit later. So find your Tadasana at the top with your feet together or hips width distance apart. Take a little moment to spread the toes and set them back down so you've got this nice wide base for your feet. And then once you've found that, start to lift away from the arches of your feet. Feel this lift, travel up your whole spine and shoot out the crown of your head. Nice. You can have your palms facing forward or towards your body, whichever feels best for your shoulders today. And then again, inhale deeply here. Exhale. Nice. On your next inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Reach your fingertips so you stretch through the sides of your body. And then take the hands together as you exhale, bend the knees. And with a long spine, start to fold forward over your legs. Your knees can be super bent here, no problem. Inhale to slide your fingertips up your shins as you lengthen your heart forward. And then exhale, bend the knees again and fold. Felix is trying to dig into my vinyl floors, nobody. <laughs> Press down into the heels to inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, plant your hands in front of your heart. Nice, inhale again, sweep the arms up to the sky. Big stretch through the sides. Exhale, hands come together as you fold forward, Uttanasana. Oh, there he is, hey buddy. <laughs> inhale, lengthen halfway. Move your shoulders away from your ears. Reach the crown of your head forward towards Baloo. And then exhale, fold. Again, press into the heels as you inhale. Reach your arms to the sky. Find that big stretch. Hands come together as you exhale. Plant your hands in front of your heart. Nice. We'll do that one more time, hopefully with less doggy distractions. <laughs> inhale, arms sweep up. And exhale, long spine as you fold forward. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale again, find length in your spine. Reach your heart forward, send your booty in the opposite direction, and fold. Nice, press more into the heels as you bend your knees and reach your arms to the sky, big stretch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Keep them there as you close your eyes for just a beat here. Feel your feet firmly planted into the earth. Roll your shoulders away from your ears and down your spine. So your chest is open here, pressing your thumbs into your sternum. Nice. On your next inhale, open your eyes. Exhale, release your fingertips down. And then inhale, sweep them all the way up to the sky. Big stretch. Exhale again, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, Adha Uttanasana. And then exhale, press into your hands. And this time we're going to step, step back into downward facing dog. Beautiful. So feel free to move your doggy around here, taking them for a walk, pedaling at your legs. You can shake out your head, a little yes and no. Finding any movements here that feel good for you on your yoga mat, on your yoga journey today. And then when you're ready, come to stillness. We're gonna hold this dog for maybe a bit longer than you want to today, but we're gonna refine it while I look through my a t-shirt tent that I've created. <laughs> all right, first of all, bend your knees. And from this bent knee position, think about shining your butt up to the sky. Yay! <laughs> Can you spread your sitting bones apart? Feel that butt get nice and wide, <laughs> and then press into your hands to move your hips away from your fingertips. Nice, let your head relax here. And you can stay just like this, finding this really great length through the spine as you melt your elbows, sorry, your armpits down towards the floor to open through your shoulders. Nice. Again, stay here or start to lower the heels of the feet down towards the mat. Maybe you can straighten your legs and maybe the heels touch down or maybe they don't. It doesn't matter. But make sure that you can't actually see your heels. So your toes point slightly inward, very slightly inward, to find this internal rotation of your thighs, like they're having a little gossip to one another. Keep relaxing your head as you draw your belly button in towards your spine and keep lifting your tail to the sky. Your fingers are spread wide here and really feel your hands press evenly towards the mat. 
If anything, can you bring more weight into the base of the first finger and your thumb? You feel really long here, like the hands reach away from the hips, and then the heels reach away from the hips as well. This hips is our highest point in our whole shape in our downward facing dog. We're here for two more breaths. You're doing so well. And one more breath. Nice. Inhale to come up high on your tippy toes, bend your knees, look forward, and start to step that right foot forward next to your right thumb. Great. From here, pivot the left heel down. So your left toes point to the long edge of your mat and your right toes point towards the short edge of your mat. And then reach your left arm forward, send it all the way up and cartwheel it behind you until you come into warrior two. So apologies that you've got my back for this first round. I promise I'll have a little look-see at the camera on the other round. Okay, so find your footing in Warrior 2. Feel like your feet are really grounded down towards the mat. Nice. And then without looking down, so don't worry so much about the shape that you're creating and where your knee and your foot and your heel and everything is. Instead, can you look forward towards your front middle finger and feel this lift up in your torso. Feel your chest open as you pull your pinky fingers back behind you just a little. Nice. And then pressing down into the feet, feeling strong, lifting out of your hips. For one more inhale here. And one more exhale. Nice. From here, start to bend the right elbow. Bring the right elbow to the fore, uh, sorry, the right forearm to the right thigh as you reach the left arm by your left ear. So here we are in an extended side angle pose. Really pull your left fingertips towards the wall that's near you, or if you're practicing outside, just pull that hand away from you. Nice. Try not to dump all your weight into your right shoulder. Instead, can you lift out of that shoulder? Beautiful. One more breath in here. Exhale. Start to draw your belly muscles in and then use this left hand as you inhale. Come back to warrior one, uh, two. Oh, making all mistakes today. <laughs> and now straighten through your right leg. Beautiful. Our legs stay exactly where they are. Start to press your feet into the earth. Inhale, lift up through your chest. And then as you exhale, move into your Trikonasana triangle pose. And this is where that block might be a nice object to use to find more space in your torso. Keep pressing down through the feet. And then can you feel as though you want to pull the inner thighs towards one another without them moving? Lean back in space so your chest is really open here for one more inhale breath. And again, use that exhale, start to draw your belly in. And again, lead with the left arm to come all the way up with straight legs. Re-bend the right knee. Nice. Flip the front hand and as you inhale, lean back to reverse your warrior. Take a deep breath and lift the chest. And then exhale to cartwheel both hands down. Scare your dog, <laughs> step it back into a plank pose. Nice. Now, if plank is far too much for you today, you're very welcome to come down to the knees. Otherwise, make sure your feet are about hips width distance apart. And from here, we're going to roll onto the outer edge of the right foot, inner arch of the left, as we lift the left arm away and up to the sky. Can you lift your hips, spread your toes here, take a full breath in. Nice, and then exhale, plant the left hand. We're going straight to the other side, rolling onto the outer edge of the left foot, inner arch of the right, as you reach that right arm to the sky. Can you lift your hips even higher, smile. One more breath, and then exhale, come back to plank. Take an inhale here, and exhale, make your way slowly down to the floor. Bloop, belly flop. Untuck your toes, roll the shoulders back, and inhale, lift up for cobra. Pull the fingertips back energetically as you reach your heart forward. Press strongly into the tops of the feet for one more inhale. And then exhale, roll it down, tuck your toes, and lift back up into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Of course, if you need a break here and you would prefer to be in a child's pose, then bring your knees to the floor and rest your hips on your heels. No problem. We're going to be here for about five breaths. 
Just like in the beginning of our practice, press your hands away from your hips and pull your heels away from your hips, pressing the fronts of the thighs onto the backs of the thighs. Relax your head and neck. Nice. Take one more breath in here. And out. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, and step the left foot now forward in between the hands. Beautiful. Pivot the back foot down. Feel already that your feet are really firmly planted into the earth, and then reach the right arm forward, up, and back behind you, coming into warrior two on the left side now. Nice. Again, without looking down at your feet, so don't worry so much about where everything is in space. Instead, feel that your feet are grounded strongly into the floor. Nice. Then can you bend a little deeper into your left knee? Start to squeeze the glutes as you lift your torso away from your hips. Nice. Beautiful. And then can you feel as though you want to engage your inner thigh to move the front knee back? And again, you don't have to look at it. If it doesn't go back, it's no problem. But if you're trying that action, hopefully you're finding a little bit more space in your front leg. Nice. Arms reach forward and back. Super strong. And now drop your shoulders, your hands just below your shoulders a little, just to relax here. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Start to bend the left arm as you bring the forearm to the left thigh, reaching the right arm by your right ear for extended side angle pose. Again, notice if you start to collapse down into your left arm, instead can you lift away? And if you really want to test yourself, you can reach that left arm forward. Hey, yeah. <laughs> nice. Keep, keep, keep pressing into the feet as you roll your top shoulder back for one more inhale. Exhale, start to draw the belly in. Use that to bring you all the way back up into warrior two. Nice, and now straighten through the front leg. Oh, thank goodness. Lift up through your chest. Find all the space in your torso, and then move forward into your trikonasana. Again, you're very welcome to use your props here to find a little more room. No problem. Roll the top shoulder back. Nice, feel like you're leaning up against a wall. You should feel this great stretch across the front of your right hip. Super nice. Keep pressing down into the feet, lifting the legs up, lifting your torso away from your hips. One more breath in here. Exhale again. Start to draw the belly in and use it to help you come up with straight legs. Beautiful. Re-bend the front knee. Inhale, flip the front hand and reach it back for a reverse warrior. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale again to cobble the hands down and step back into your plank pose. Nice. All right, second round of side plank. You can do the same one we did before with the feet hip distance, or you can challenge yourself with the toes together. Start to roll onto the outer edge of the right foot. Stack the left foot on top as you reach the left arm up. Spread your toes. Can you lift your hips? Deep breath in here. And then exhale, bring the left hand down, roll straight over onto the outer edge of the left foot as you lift those hips, spread your toes. Beautiful, good job, one more inhale. And then exhale, find your plank. Inhale here, and exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes and lift up for cobra. Elbows squeeze towards one another, keep pressing the tops of the feet down. Lift your kneecaps away from the earth for one more inhale. Exhale, roll it down. This time, bring the big toes together, send the knees wide, and sit the hips back to the heels for child's pose. Let your forehead rest. Come back to your breath. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out, maybe the mouth. Beautiful. Press into your hands, look forward, and we'll meet again in Downward Facing Dog. Beautiful. From Downward Dog, come up high on the tippy toes, bend the knees, look forward, and however you like, make your way to the top of your mat, and we'll meet again in Uttanasana Forward Fold. Dangle here for just a bit. On your next inhale, reach it up halfway, Adha Uttanasana, and exhale to fold. 
Press into the feet. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Big stretch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Nice. You can release your hands by your sides. Close down your eyes and feel strong and stable in your Tadasana. Notice your breath. Take your hands together again in front of your heart and shine your eyes open. As you inhale, reach your prayer to the sky, look up, and then exhale forward fold. Nice. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Press into the hands and step, step back, down and facing dog. Nice. Spread your fingers wide. This time walk the big toes a little closer and as you inhale, send that right leg straight up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, start to squeeze the knee towards the nose. Give your knee a kiss. And then step your foot in between your hands. Beautiful. Pivot that back heel down and we're going to circle the arms back into warrior two. Nice. All right, from here, we're going to dance our warrior. So moving with the breath. Inhale, flip the front hand as you lean back, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, right forearm to right thigh. Find your extended side angle, reaching the left arm overhead. Inhale to circle it back, reverse warrior. Exhale to extended side angle. Keep the legs exactly as they are as you inhale. Reach your right arm up, reach your heart up to the sky. Exhale, extended side angle. Let's do two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale, lean back, lift your chest. Exhale, to sink into your hips, press down into your feet. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Bend the front knee, look towards your back hand. Nice, and now follow your hand with your gaze as you send it all the way down and forward and up. Pivot on the back heel, and now we're in high present lunge pose. Nice. Fingertips reach up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the left knee into your chest and catch it with your hands. Ooh, a little tricky balance here. Okay, find a spot in front of you that's not going to move. So best not to look at me for this one. We call that a drishti point in yoga. Your point of focus. Nice. And then keep your focus on that point as you take your right hand to your waist. And then start to open your left knee out to the side with your left hand, gently. You can grab a hold of your ankle and bring your foot either into the upper part of your thigh or wherever it lands on the leg, no problem. And if you're having trouble balancing, you can keep the foot all the way down on the floor with the ankle pressing into your right leg. So choose your tree today. Of course, every tree is different in nature, so why would our trees all look the same on our yoga mats? And then once you find your balance, whence, and it was not meant to say that, <laughs> bring your hands together at your heart. Nice. Feeling stable here, pressing the right foot down into the earth and using that connection with the floor to lift away. Find this tall, broad, confident tree. And then from here, take the left outer hand to the inside of the left leg so your left palm faces forward and then reach the right arm up to the sky inhale to reach those fingertips up 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 and then exhale start to lean towards the left Ooh, a little challenge using your core for balance can you press your left foot into your right leg keep pressing that right leg into the floor for one more breath nice inhale come all the way back up Release the hands back to the heart. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, gently release your left foot down to the earth. And we meet in Tadasana, hands by your sides. Nice work, everyone. Ooh, tricky. Balance is like straight into there. Inhale, arms reach to the sky. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Press into the hands and step, step back, downward facing dog. Nice. From your downward dog, inhale, roll forward, find your plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Inhale for cobra, reach the heart forward, pull the shoulders and elbows back. And then exhale, roll it down, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Three breaths here.
Nice. Keep pressing your hands into the earth. Walk your big toes a little closer, and on an inhale, we'll send the left leg straight up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, squeeze your knee towards your nose. Look forward and step your foot between your hands. Pivot the right heel down and windmill your arms all the way up, finding that warrior two on this side. All right, again, we're gonna dance. Flip the front hand, inhale, lean it back, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, left forearm to left thigh, reach the right arm beyond your right ear, press into the outer edge of the back foot. Inhale to reverse, lift your chest. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale again, lean it back. Beautiful, feet are strong here and they don't change position as you exhale, come into your extended side angle pose. Two more, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, sink the hips. Whoo, one more. Inhale, reach it back. Nice, nice, broad, confident chest. Exhale, come forward. Use your next inhale to find your warrior two pose. And then again, look towards the back hand, your right hand, and then follow your hand with your gaze as you bring it all the way down and forward and up as you pivot on the back heel and find your high lunge, bend deeply through the front knee. Take an inhale and then exhale, catch your knee with your hands, bring that right knee towards your chest. Nice work. All right, that point that was in front of you, your drishti, bring your focus, your awareness to that point again as you take the left hand to the waist and gently guide the right leg open to the side. And then take your ankle and bring your foot wherever it lands on your leg. Nice. Find the power in your standing leg to lift yourself away from the floor. And then bring your hands together in front of your heart. Pixasana or tree pose. And you can stay just like this, working on your balance, just enjoying how it feels to slow down your mind. Or if you want that little side bend, a little extra challenge, then take the back of the right hand to the inside of the right thigh. Inhale, reach the left arm up, and really pull your fingertips to the sky as you exhale, lean to the right. Nice, try not to fold the left shoulder forward, keep your chest open. Yeah, you got this, one more breath. Inhale, both arms reach up, whoop, Take your hands together in front of your heart. Release your foot back down to the earth. And then try to not fidget as you come into Tadasana. Notice how you feel. Maybe you even close down your eyes. Feeling the effects of our yoga practice almost immediately. Bring your hands together in front of your heart as you open your eyes. And on your next inhale, reach your prayer to the sky. Look up. And exhale, forward fold with a long spine. Inhale to lengthen halfway. And then press into your hands, step, step back, downward facing dog. Nice, walk your big toes to touch or hip distance. We're coming into that side plank variation, so whichever you prefer. On your inhale, roll yourself forward. When your shoulders are over your wrists, spike your heels back. Lift the front of your body to meet the back of your body. Nice. And now roll onto the outer edge of your right foot as you lift that left arm up to the sky. You're welcome to stay here or take tree pose from here, lifting your left leg, bringing the left foot into the right leg, and then pressing that right leg into your left. Can you lift your hips even higher for one more inhale? And then exhale, take the left hand down, take the left foot back, and we'll roll straight to the other side. You got this super strong. Find your side plank. You can stay exactly here or lift the right foot, plant it on top of the left, and then lift, lift, lift through your hips. Nice, super strong. Smile. <laughs> and then exhale, take the right hand down, step back for a plank for an inhale. Exhale, lower down to your belly. Inhale, cobra. Nice, roll it down, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Two breaths, Whew. maybe you let the exhale out the mouth, take an inhale. Exhale, release. 
Bend the knees, look forward, and however you like, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, both arms reach to the sky. Look up, bring the hands together, and exhale, hands in front of your heart. Release your hands by your sides as you close your eyes. And again, we're here in Tadasana. Stand up tall. Feel your breath, feeling up your body. Feel free to adjust your clothing. Flick your hair off your face. Do whatever you gotta do so that you can come back to this pose with a sense of confidence. When you're ready, open your eyes. Nice. Take the hands to your waist, and then we're gonna take a big step back with the right foot. And now turn both of your toes forward, lining up the outer edges of the feet with the outer edges of the mat, if that feels most comfortable for you. But if it doesn't, just take a position with your feet that feels good, so you're stable. Nice. And then pressing down into the outer edges of your legs, can you find at the same time this lift up from the inner arches, so your legs are super strong here. And now roll your shoulders back, puff your chest open. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, start to hinge from your hips, leading with your chest. Come back halfway down. Again, this is a nice uh, time to have your block if you've got one. And if you have got that block, you can reach your hands down to the block or to the floor, whichever is best for you. Now from here, shift the weight forward into your toes, just a little more, so you feel that the booty is lined up with the backs of the heels. Keep opening through your chest. You can stay just like this, or take the right hand to the center of your block or the floor, and inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky, find a twist. Keep rotating your left shoulder open as you reach your heart forward. Notice if your hips shifted back, can you bring that weight forward into your toes again? One more inhale here. And then exhale, left hand comes down, replaces the right hand, and as you inhale, the right arm reaches to the sky. Finding the twist on this side for one more breath in. And out, slowly lower the right hand down. Again, inhale, find length here. And as you exhale, start to guide the crown of your head towards the floor. Maybe you remove your block or maybe you still need it, no problem. Let your head dangle, maybe you give it a little shake, yes or no. And if you're looking for more space in this pose, Bend your knees just a little, and again, start to widen your sit bones open to the sky. Start to lean the weight forward into your toes, and then once you've got all that, try to re-straighten through your legs. Maybe you found that you've got a little bit more space here. We're here for two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale to walk your hands forward again. And then exhale, turn the left heel in and then kick the right foot forward. Float that right leg in space as you sit your butt to the floor. And then from here, we're coming into boat pose. Whew, that was a bit cheeky of me now. <laughs> Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. You can point or flex your toes. Try and keep your shins parallel to the mat if you can. Squeeze your legs together. Take a full breath in here, full breath out. If you've got it in you, maybe you try to straighten those legs. One more breath in. And then exhale, cross the ankles, and we'll meet back in that comfortable seat. You're welcome to sit up on your block or your cushion again if you've got one. Get comfy, we've made it to the end of our practice. You did so well. Find your comfortable position as you close down your eyes. Come back to your breath. It doesn't feel differently than it did at the start of your practice. Mine certainly does. <laughs> Feel your body filling up with air, filling every cell of your body with fresh new oxygen. And as you exhale, getting rid of what your body doesn't need. 
And then maybe metaphorically as you inhale, you bring something in that you really would love. And as you exhale, get rid of something that you don't need. <sighs> Do that one more time, full breath. Breathing in, something good. And breathing out, something unnecessary. Keep your eyes closed as you take your hands together in front of your heart. Find a full breath in, pressing your chest towards your thumbs. And as you exhale, bow your chin to your chest. A little moment of gratitude for your practice today, for getting yourself on the mat and moving your body, doing all the things. When you're ready, slowly lift your chin and open your eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.